Hey everybody, we're here to go ahead and disassemble this Motorola Moto X. This is the second generation of this, the 2014 version. The tools we're needing, uh, I used, like to use these suction cups to help us remove the back plate. We'll need a couple of pry tools here, guitar pick and nylon spudger works well. We also will be needing a small uh, torque screwdriver. And if you're following through the remaining of this video, you'll also need to do uh, the glass only repair. Uh, we'll be using a heat gun and a couple playing cards for that. This is a hot air soldering iron, but a heat gun or possibly a hair dryer would work as well if you can get to the right temperature. All right, now the first step for us uh, is to go ahead and pop out uh, the SIM card slot. And also, we'll need to go ahead and remove the back cover. Uh, you can use a sharp pointing tool. I suggest using a SIM card removal tool. My little dental pick here is not working, so let me grab my SIM card tool real fast. All right, make it a little bit easier. You can just pop that right out. Go ahead and set that aside. Now that we have that removed, we can go ahead and try to remove the back cover. This portion here is actually adhered to the mid frame of the phone. Uh, so we're just going to give it a little bit of heat. You don't have to use a ton. Uh, it's not like you're going to be removing the glass. All we're doing is removing the back cover off of this phone. So we're just going to get it nice and warm to loosen the adhesive. Let's go around in a circular motion here to get it uh, warmed up. Once it feels a, a pretty warm to the touch, you can go ahead and start the removal process. Alright, the next step is to go ahead and take our suction cup. You can use a little one. I like this tile suction cup. It gets a nice good pull on it. Um, go ahead and push it down and seal it. You want to make sure you don't get over. There's a little hole in the back right here. Uh, you can see my suction cup just popped right off. I'm trying to suction it on there. I'll show you again. You can get it for a second and it'll pop off. There's a little tiny like a mic hole almost. You just want to put your suction cup to the below or above. So we're just going to take this, we're going to pull it back. You can start to see that the housing down here is gapping. We can go ahead and put our tool in and start to pull this back. So we're just going to slide it around the sides here and get it to loosen. I find that this is the easiest way not to damage or bend to the point where it starts to whiten on the rear of the phone. So we'll use another guitar pick here, keep it nice and solid for us. Now you want to be careful on the left side, uh, right where I put the top guitar pick, there's a cable that runs underneath that. Normally if you're just sliding your tool around the side of it, you won't hit it, but just to be aware of it, I'll show you once they pull that off. Now we've got it started. The back of this phone is actually pretty flexible, uh, so we're just going to slide our finger down the middle of the device. It'll actually just go ahead and pop the adhesive off of it. Start to pull it back. A little bit of adhesive right here in the middle has been a little bit tricky, so let's use our nylon pry tool to push into that. Go ahead and pull that off. There's the cable I was talking about on the left-hand side. You can see how much adhesive is on the back of this screen. This cable right here is what I was talking about. It lays pretty, pretty flat into the phone. Uh, just be aware of it when you're removing the back. I like to not slide my tool around it. Now with the back removed, uh, we actually can see a few different connectors here. We have these two little rubber grommets on the back of the phone. One down here at the bottom that covers up the battery. Just take our nylon spudger. Make sure you put your finger over the top of it. Um, these things like to pop off pretty quickly. You don't want to lose it. We can pop our battery connector off. And that'll lessen the risk of any sort of uh, electrical shock. A lot of people are worried about uh, ESD, the electrical shock damage, um, or static damage. I have never had a phone uh, have any problem with uh, static discharge, so just so you're aware. So now we've got this off, we're going to go ahead and start uh, pulling back this little piece of tape here. Pop up the connector from the back side. And that'll let us pull this cable out from the back.
It's just held down with a little bit of double-sided tape onto the mid-frame of the phone. Uh, now, you actually don't have to remove this cable off, but let's say you're trying to replace it. Um, it's not too hard. Just put your spudge underneath it, wiggle it a little bit. Just don't be extremely forceful with it. These cables can rip and tear. Now, also, this cable is held down underneath the Motorola symbol here on the back of the phone. Uh, so just be aware of that before you pull it all the way out. You have to take that off first. You can see there's a little clip right there that holds it down. We need to take all these screws out or along the back of the phone to take the back plate off and to remove this cable. We go ahead and start that process now. Uh, it uses a small Torx screwdriver. So all the way around the back and all of these three here as well around the Motorola symbol will need to come out. Now I get a lot of guff for not speeding through the video or editing saying ta-da all the screws are out but the goal is, is I want you to see exactly how long this is going to take. That way you can plan out the amount of time that you're going to need to complete the project. Uh, sometimes a, a video will only be four or five minutes and it's an actual hour repair. It just takes a lot of time to do certain things. So just be aware of that. If you need to skip forward, feel free to do so. Uh, this takes about uh, a couple minutes. Now all these screws in the back are actually all the same size, all these black screws. Uh, so you don't have to keep them in any particular order, you can just put them in a pile. I separate uh, the silver screws out for the Motorola symbol, uh, so I know exactly where they go. Work our way down the opposite side of the phone. few more screws to go. One in here to the right of the camera. One to the left of the camera. So we have the three screws for the Motorola symbol we're going to take off next, and also we'll need to take off the volume and the power button bracket screw. Go ahead and pop this off. use this to pull up. Now this little bracket uh, is pretty bendable uh, so just be careful not to extremely bend it when you're trying to remove it. It's got some adhesive underneath it that holds it onto the mid frame of the phone. I'm not really sure what it's here for. I guess it could be an antenna of sorts. Just work your way around the outside of it. Try to loosen the adhesive a little bit. We've got the little silver bracket, the blue outline, and then we have our actual symbol here that's uh, underneath it. Oh, I popped right off. Now with that bracket off, we can actually take this ribbon cable out if we would like. Now if you're doing just a screen replacement, you don't have to remove this particular cable. 
Uh, you can leave it attached to the mid-frame. Just unclip this connector up here at the top. I'm just pulling it back to get a look at uh, how I can under go underneath it. That'll pop right off. Now, like I was saying, if you're doing a screen-only replacement, you can leave that adhered to the mid-frame. Just undo the both connectors. So we need to take out this screw here for the power button and volume button bracket. Uh, it's just a, a little holder uh, for the buttons that hold them in place. So once you remove the bracket, the power button and the volume button can pop out of the device, just like so. And then here is our bracket. Go ahead and set those aside. I'm really actually happy with the way they design the buttons. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to put them back into the device. Missed a screw right here. I guess I'll have to go back and grab that one. There's these little clip connectors here, and if you depress these little clip connectors, it'll actually let the mid-frame detach. On this particular film, they're actually popped off already, uh, so the mid-frame just pops off nice and easy. But if you just pull them back, it'll actually just separate the screen for you. Now, there's a battery portion here. Now, normally you'd want to pry it out with your nylon spudger, but this actually has a couple releases on the back. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, so you can see our SIM card slot. We have our 3.5mm headphone jack. If you're looking to take this out or replace these parts, uh, just use a basically like a pick or something to go ahead and get those pulled out and removed. Let's go underneath the cable here, and that'll pop right out for you. So here on the back of the device, these little pull tabs right here, you can basically take these and pull these out, much like you'd see like on an iPhone. That'll release adhesive underneath the battery. It'll make it a lot easier to pull out. You still have to pry it out a little bit with a spudger, uh, but that's the easy way to replace the uh, battery on this phone, which is kind of cool. So now we have the back cover off, you can see the internals of the device. All of our ribbon cables connected for the camera, the LCD, the digitizer, all that stuff's connected here. So what we're going to do is take our nylon spudger, go through and start to pry these little connections up. Now, these can be a little bit tricky, so just be easy on them when you're prying them up. Make sure they're nice and fully upright and then pull back. It has a little bit of this capped on uh, tape on top of it. You can remove that if you want to. Uh, technically you don't have to. It might make it a little bit easier to get the ribbon cable out. This particular one is a little bit tricky with the fold in it. It doesn't want to pop off. What you can do is leave this to the last and then open it like a book and then slide it out. That might make it a little bit easier to remove. So you use a small pick here to pull this back. Been a little bit tricky, so we're going to remove the tape here. Try to wiggle it a little bit to get it to go free. There we go, we have that removed. Go ahead and pull up the black portion of this ribbon connector here. Pull the tape back, make it a little bit easier on this one. Set that to the side. Start to pull this off. This has a little bit of adhesive underneath the square portion of it that you can use to uh, get removed. Use our nylon spudger. We'll go ahead and pull up the portion for the front facing camera here. Go ahead and put our spudger underneath the square portion of the display cable here and pull that up.
get this thing to pop out for us here. Be a little bit tricky. I don't want to damage the cable. So I'm just going to take my time and be patient as I get it underneath to pull up the adhesive underneath it. Like so. Our next step we can do is go ahead and go through and just basically put your spudger around the sides of the logic board here. Just twist a little bit, get it to loosen up. There's a couple of small clips. To the right of my spudger here, uh, you can see there's a little tiny clip where there's a post that the board sits on top of. So we can just wiggle it free, move it back and forth. So be careful of the cables and make sure they're all removed. Now I'll go ahead and let us separate the logic board from the mid-frame of the phone. Now if you were looking to replace your camera, it's the same little ribbon cable connector. Just pop it up, remove the camera, and put the new one in. Alright, and then we have our display portion. Uh, what you can do is go ahead and pull the ribbon cables off of this little fabric backing here. I'll get us started. If you want to see the next video on the glass replacement, it'll be down in the description. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you found the video useful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.